Below are all the necessary pieces of personal protective equipment and caring for the potential Ebola patient. This is the procedure for trained observer donning. First, change into hospital-issued scrubs. Remove jewelry and all personal items, including cell phones. If you have long hair, pull it back and secure hair off of neck and back. Change into washable shoes. During this video, we are using personal shoes. These will shortly be switched out to hospital shoes. Perform hand hygiene. Put on boot coverings. Securing the strap around the ankle. Next, put on the first pair of extended cuff gloves. These are the inner gloves, and they are the Aloe Touch green nitrile gloves. Put on impermeable surgical gown. Put on second pair of extended cuff gloves. These are the outer gloves. They are the Triumph cream colored surgical gloves. When you put these on, ensure the cuffs are pulled over the sleeves of the surgical gown. Put on face shield. This concludes the trained observer donning. This is a healthcare worker donning procedure. Change into hospital issued scrubs. Remove jewelry and all personal items, including cell phone and name tag. If long hair, pull back and secure hair up and off the neck and the back. Change into hospital washable shoes. For this video, we're using regular, our regular shoes, hospital-issued shoes will be here shortly. Perform hand hygiene. Put on the first pair of extended cuff inner gloves, the Aloe Touch Green Nitrals.
put on the coveralls. If the cover hall has an attached hood, tuck it inside the coverall. Put on boot coverings over the coverall. Put on the impermeable surgical gown. Put on the N95. Complete the user seal check. Put on the Tyvex hood. Put on the second pair of extended cuff gloves. Ensure that the cuffs are pulled over the sleeves of the surgical gown. Put on the face shield. Trained observer now checks the healthcare workers PPE. This concludes donning PPE. This is the healthcare worker doffing procedure. The trained observer should read the following steps aloud and check the box when complete. Remember to take your time, avoid risky reflexes like touching your face while doffing. Before exiting the room, the healthcare worker should inspect the PPE for visible signs of contamination. If present, disinfect using a sandy wipe with bleach. Proceed to the doffing area. Disinfect eider gloves with hand hygiene. Remove the gown by reaching up over the shoulders and pulling forward and down, rolling into a ball from inside out. Inspect your PPE for visible signs of contamination or tears. Disinfect your outer gloves. Remove boot coverings while sitting down.
Inspect and disinfect outer gloves. Remove outer gloves using the glove and glove technique. Inspect and disinfect the inner gloves. Remove face shield by tilting head forward and grabbing sides of elastic band on the face shield near the temple area and slipping the strap off the head. Inspect and disinfect the inner gloves. Remove hood by tilting head forward, grabbing the top and pulling off and forward with one hand. Inspect and disinfect the inner gloves. Remove coveralls. Tilt the head back to reach the top of the zipper. Unzip completely. Then roll down, turning inside out. Avoid contact of the scrubs with the outer surface of the coverall. Step forward out of your coveralls. Pick up and discard the coveralls. Some employees may find it easier to sit while performing this procedure. Inspect and disinfect inner gloves. Remove inner gloves. Perform hand hygiene. Don a new pair of gloves. These can be the blue nitrile exam gloves. Remove N95 mask by tilting the head slightly forward, grasping and removing first the bottom strap, then the top strap. Keep tension on the top strap as you remove it while you let the face mask fall forward. Do not touch the front of the face mask. Inspect and disinfect inner gloves. Disinfect all surfaces of your hospital washable shoes by sitting down in the clean chair and wiping them with a sandy cloth with bleach. Wipe from top to bottom, cleaning the soles of the shoe last. Inspect and disinfect inner gloves. Remove inner gloves. Perform hand hygiene. Inspect for contamination and exit the room. This concludes the healthcare worker doffing procedure. This is the trained observer doffing procedure. Disinfect outer gloves.
Remove gown by reaching over shoulders and pulling forward and down, rolling into a ball from inside to outside. Inspect the PPE for visible contamination or tears. If present, disinfect using sandy cloths with bleach. Inspect and disinfect outer gloves. Remove boot coverings while sitting down. Be careful to avoid touching the inner scrubs during this part. Inspect and disinfect outer gloves. Remove outer gloves using glove and glove technique. Inspect and disinfect inner gloves. If inner gloves are visibly soiled, cut, or torn, then remove the inner gloves, hand hygiene on bare hands, and don a new pair of clean blue nitrile exam gloves. Remove inner gloves using the glove in glove technique. Perform hand hygiene. Don a new pair of inner gloves, the blue nitrile exam gloves. It's best to wait until your hands are completely dry before applying the new set of gloves. Remove face shield by tilting head forward, grabbing sides of the elastic band on the face shield near the temple area and slipping the strap off the head. Inspect and disinfect inner gloves. Disinfect all the surfaces of your hospital washable shoes by sitting down in a clean chair and wiping them with a sandy cloth with bleach. Wipe from top to bottom, cleaning the soles of the shoe last. Inspect and disinfect inner gloves. Remove inner gloves. Performed hand hygiene. Inspect for contamination and exit the room. <laughs>